What are we doing standing out by the side of the road here? Wow. A whole bunch of equipment <laughs> set up. To, what's going on here? What we're doing today is we're updating our comparison, uh, resolution comparison. Tom, we have a whole bunch of cameras set up behind here. Tell me a little bit about what we have. I do know that we have four SIF and 720p. Correct. Because there's a lot of that technology still out there. Customers yep. are still using it. Absolutely. The prison market, a lot of our bigger customers are still using the four SIF. Mm -hmm. Reason why? They have thousands of these cameras out mm -hmm. there, and they're not just going to throw them away. So it's still important to do a comparison there, but what else exactly. do we have here to show? Sure. You know, we have 4 SIF, we have 720, we have 1080, we have 5 megapixel. We have 4K, which is 12 megapixel, but also now we even have the panoramic camera and our 180 camera, right. which now completely puts us into a different realm because now we're able to get much more field of view from one camera. If our goal was to be able to identify Ari, at 170 feet, we wouldn't be using this kind of lens if that was our goal. That is correct. So it, what is important to note and what you're speaking to is that resolution is very important, but field of view is, is uh, as equally as important in trying to get useful information. So the wider the field of view, the less detail you're going to get at a further distance. Correct. Before we do our image resolution comparison, let's look at a reference image and take a look at the targets that we're going to be comparing. First is going to be a license plate at 40 feet away. Second is going to be our subject here at 50 feet away. We have a sign that is 100, and 100 feet away. And we also have another subject sitting across the street here at 170 feet away. So those are our references that we're going to be focusing on in our image resolution comparison. So let's go to our first view where we are comparing standard definition for SIF, 720p, 1080p, and 5 megapixel. So let's start by zooming in on the license plate with the 4 SIF camera. And we're zooming in all the way so that we have the maximum zoom capability with all these comparisons for accurate comparison. Now we'll move on to the 1080p. And lastly, the 5 megapixel. Now let's start over again and look at our next view. This is a subject at 50 feet away. So starting with our standard def, 50 feet away. Now we'll move on to our 720p. Viewing a man at 50 feet away, moving on to 1080p. Obviously, we can start to see the, the difference in the resolutions here. And lastly, this is our 5 megapixel. 50 feet away comparison. Let's move on to our signage, which is at 100 feet away. We'll start with our 4 SIF again, looking at what we have with regard to gas prices at 100 feet away. That was 720p. Let's move on to 1080p. And lastly, our 5 megapixel. And there's our comparison between 4 SIF up to 5 megapixel. Now let's move on to our fourth and final target for comparison. Starting with 4 SIF, let's look at our person across the street This one is 720p looking across the street. Moving on to 1080p looking at our test subject across the street. And lastly, our 5 megapixel. And this distance is 170 feet. Man size target across the street. Now in our second view, we are going to increase the resolution and eliminate the 4 SIF camera. We're going to use a 720p. So these are all HD cameras. 720p, a 1080p, compared to 5 megapixel, and lastly, we're now adding 4K into the equation. So these are the four resolutions. Let's again start with our test subject 
distance of 40 feet again, license plate, all the way zoomed in. This is 1080p. Moving on to our five megapixel. And lastly, 4K now. So that is the comparison with HD images. Let's move on to our next target. Again, 50 feet away, man size target. That was 720p, now I'm on 1080p. 50 feet away with a Starlight 5 megapixel. And lastly, our 4K, man size at 50 feet away. Continuing on to our sign again, 720p, viewing our sign, gas prices, 1080p, same image, great comparison, 5 megapixel, and if you notice when I zoom in, these are all zoomed in on the same, they're about the same size, so I'm getting a very even comparison. So again, 100 feet away. Lastly, let's go to our last test of a man-sized target, 720p. Again, this is 170 feet. 170 feet with 1080p. 170 feet with 5 megapixel. Lastly, 4K. So our last demonstration of resolution comparison. This is a 4K at 170 feet. In our third and final view, here we are comparing Starlight 5 megapixel, Bosch 4K, with now adding in panoramic cameras. This is a panoramic 180 degree camera. We also have a panoramic 360 degree camera. And these panoramic cameras, the 180 and the 360, are 12 megapixel 4K cameras. So let's zoom in again on our uh, test subjects, looking at the license plate. We've done this before, but let's look at how that compares to our panoramic cameras. So now I'm doing the Bosch 4K. Now the panoramic camera, which again is 12 megapixel. So this is a 180 degree 4K. This is a 360 degree, so a very wide angle, a very wide field of view. What is, a, what is very compelling to point out here, that even though we are comparing 4K in three of these images, these all are 4K resolutions, what we have is a difference in field of view. In our 180 degree field of view versus a 360 degree field of view, in comparison to our 4K camera uh, with a, say, a 20 degree field of view. So the resolution is the same on these cameras, but we're talking about a very a varying degree in field of view, which obviously results in uh, less detail. We are sacrificing detail to great, gain a very large wide field of view. So now we're going to move on to our next target, same, same comparison. We're going to move on to our man size target at 50 feet away. Five megapixel. This is 4K. This is again 4K. 4K 180 degree panoramic camera. And this is our 4K 360 degree panoramic, much wider field of view. So there, we have now our second field of view, second test subject. Again, note the difference in quality based on field of view. We have a very narrow field of view with this 4K camera versus a 180 degree field of view in this 
camera and a 360 degree panoramic view, so a much, much wider, wider angle field of view. What this does is uh, creates far fewer pixels on target. Starting with our five megapixel, again, we're gonna zoom in on our sign. Then we'll move to our 4K camera, zoom in on our sign. Our 180 degree panoramic camera, again 4K. Zooming in on our sign. And lastly our 360 degree panoramic, our widest field of view, still 4K, zooming in on our sign. Again, notice the drop in detail based on field of view. Now comparison of our fourth and final target. Man size, 170 feet away, five megapixel, 4K, Four K one eighty degree panoramic and lastly we'll zoom in on our three sixty degree, partially obstructed by a sign here, but we can still see the top of that person barely. But again the, the problem here is the limited number of pixels per square foot. So even though we have all these comparison videos there are a couple factors that, that we haven't taken into account here, and that is time of day and lighting. Correct. And also um, where this camera is being placed, right? So perhaps we have headlights coming at us if it's at night. Um, you can see in some of these views you have some glare from the sun. So there are certain things at certain locations that can't be replicated. So in the end, ideally our team comes out and does a site survey with you, sets up some cameras, make sure that you're able to see the field of view and, and the targets that you're anticipating before you go and buy a system. Absolutely right. This does demonstrate that it is imperative to do a site survey, discussion with the uh, customer as to what they're trying to accomplish, what risks they're trying to mitigate so that we can apply the right resolution and the right field of view to give them the results that they're looking for. And that's accomplished by a site survey possibly even a demonstration because there's a lot of challenging applications out there that we have to consider.